everyone and welcome back to Stitchy Bee. I'm Cheryl Temple. Thank you so much for your good wishes um, when I went away uh, last month. It seems like an age away now but I just had a few days break and um, I know I've not been around on here also for a little while. I was just so busy with orders when I got back. I wanted to get clear before I sat down and, and did the fun stuff. So anyway, here I am. So I've got two speedy summer makes to show you today. So before I went away, I wanted, I had some amazing fabric come in and I wanted to whiz up a couple of really fast summer makes that would um, take me on holiday and also pack really well in the suitcase without creasing. So first up, I've made this top um, that I'm wearing today, which is a sew over it molly top, would you believe? So when I first made this, I made the stripy version similar to the, the pattern cover. Um, this is from their City Break collection. So it's a collection of patterns. Um, and then this is one of those patterns within that as a PDF. So um, I was looking at the pattern pieces and I thought, what have I got in my pattern collection that I've tried before that's already cut out, already taped together or printed and that I can make really fast because I've got so little time to sew at the moment and this, when I looked at this I thought yeah it's such a simple pattern piece, excuse, excuse it, it's well loved um, but that's basically it so I left the sleeve part off because you can make it full length sleeve or three quarter I believe and, and it's just a grown on sleeve here, um, which is really simple. And um, because it's Jersey, it's so fast. So I chose to make it in this beautiful, and um, this is actually a viscose Pontaroma. And it's, it's a lovely pan, isn't it? It's got a nice dipped hem at the back, slightly dipped at the front. And the neckband is gorgeously flat. Um, which always makes me happy when you don't have to faff about too much. I think I, did I zigzag it or twin knee? I sewed it with a twin needle. Or you could zigzag if you don't have a twin needle. It will finish really simmer, similarly. Um, and then the sleeves are just a, a basic turned up hem. I overlocked mine and then sewed it with a twin needle so that it almost looks like a cover stitch. I'm trying to resist the urge to buy a cover stitch machine because they're so expensive, aren't they? And I'm, I'm quite happy so far with this little finish. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed it. So it's a um, Pontaroma. This is a Lady McElroy fabric called Peach Schnapps. And it's a kind of peachy uh, background with lots of blush pinks in, which is really me at the moment. I know I'm buying loads of fabrics like that but I just really like the shade and it's it's in all the high street shops too so it is quite popular at the moment. And it goes with, I'm wearing it with denim shorts today but it goes really well with white jeans. I've had some white jeans on holiday wearing this and it looks super fresh and nice and it doesn't crease. I've not ironed this since I washed it yesterday. I just hung it up to dry and it's, it's perfect. So I'll show you up close because when I ordered this in bulk for, for my online shop, I wasn't quite sure what to expect because I've not seen any of their Pontaroma jerseys before. And it's really beautiful. So I wouldn't dream of wearing Ponty in summer um, ordinarily, but this is um, 96 or 97% viscose content which means that it's mostly natural fibres so that it's more breathable, you're not going to feel sweaty and when it does get hot it, it wouldn't behave like a more polyester um, style ponty. And it drapes really well so this would make a fab wrap dress for a wedding or a party or a summer event and it's not see-through as you can see and so it's got a good weight and it also sews really well under the sewing machine and my hem didn't stretch. I do use my built-in walking foot on my new machine but I think this would be okay even without it if you just take it slowly and use lots of pins. Um, and you can see the neckline, it, this is probably the best neckline I've made. Um, it, it just it's beautiful and I like the width of this pattern piece as well. It's a little bit thicker than usual. And in this fabric it works well. I think when you're sewing a thinner viscose jersey, you know the usual thin style one, um, I think it helps if the, the neckband's slightly narrower so that it doesn't 
flap about or wave around. Uh, the first molly top I made of this, I think it's might be too wide for that really thin viscose t-shirt fabric but this one is just lovely it's really nice it sits sits really well so i'm dead happy with this and it, it was just one of those fabrics that i i unwrapped and i thought oh my goodness i've got to make something from that what can i make really quick that i can uh, take away with me and that was it so sometimes the simple patterns are the ones that make a really nice print shine i think because you don't need too many details and pockets and tucks and pleats and and all that you just really don't need them it just shows off that fabric in its simple form um, and that's what happened with the next fabric too which I'll show you so here's my second quick summer make and it's this lovely t-shirt dress so this is made from um, the McCall's 6886. Now I've reviewed this pattern before, it's one of my favourites and again it's just one of those patterns that's so fast to sew up and it's got a couple of different neckline versions as well. So um, the one I've sewn before is a round neck but I wanted to try the V and if you look up close it comes to a nice point there. Um, and Because I thought it's a summer dress, um, it's for being in a hot country hopefully, um, and I think it's nicer when you've got a little bit more neck show. It's, you don't feel so hot. So I'll give you a quick show. So it's a liter literally a t-shirt dress. Um, it finishes just above the knee. You can see I cut it a little bit shorter because I didn't want to be too warm um, in Greece because it does get warm there. And it's in this gorgeous 95% uh, cotton jersey. So it's like the perfect jersey that I stock on stitchybee.co.uk. Um, it's the same feel, the same content um, with the 5% spandex as well. And it's just beautiful. It's, it's good enough to make a dress from, especially when you've got a print like this. So it hides any lumps and mumps. If this was made from white, I think I'd be less, I'd be a bit more self-conscious about, you know, how it's, how it's sitting around my waist, but it is, I really like it and of course it's got little boats on which is really summery and I'm a big fan of sea salt and jewels and all those brands um, those British brands that uh, have prints like this so I'm a bit biased to choosing things like this but I absolutely love it um, and I'm really pleased with it so the neckline um, is a little bit tricky it's not the easiest necklines to sew if you're new to sewing jersey so i looked up a tutorial uh, on youtube from melly sews and i'll pop a link to that in the description below and her explanation of how to sew this v and get that sitting perfectly like that is really quite good and there's a few other explanations as well there's more than one way of doing it like anything but I do recommend if you have a bash at this neckline that you have a look at her explanation it's quite a short video which is always good um, so yeah really enjoyed that and also you've probably got this pattern because it's everywhere and this one came free with uh, love sewing I've got two versions of it because I bought this and then I got it free with love sewing um, and the love sewing one includes all the sizes so it's got the two sheets uh, sizes 6 to 22 if you if that's in your stash somewhere if you buy those magazines or you could just buy it online uh, I'll pop a link below if you want to buy it um, and it's great so again for a summer top so, or a summer you could make a top from it or a summer dress it's just nice to throw on and it's not too plain because the fabric prints so nice it's just that kind of hop on a boat and go out for the afternoon with your your beach bag and your sun hat on and you're you're good to go it's just that nice kind of feel so I'm loving this I've not got masses of this because it's from one of the suppliers that takes weeks and weeks and weeks to deliver stuff to me so I don't think I'll be able to get it back in probably before it stows um, so yeah sorry if it's not around by the time you have a look um, but I do have a, a couple of bolts of it um, and also in the same um, composition of fabric I bought it in this print too which I love. Now on the selvage of these fabrics it actually says 
um, I'm not sure about this one, but the uh, the boats one says it's a child's prince. Well, I don't care. I just think it's nice. There's nothing too childlike about boats in the seaside, is there? But if you were sewing for kids, um, you could also sew some lovely little um, little pull-up bottoms or a little t-shirt, and that would work quite nice too because this is quite a smallish print. Or if you want to go all out seaside, I've got this gorgeous whale print too. Again, it's the same thing, 95% cotton. So it's really beautiful. It's a good weight. It's not see-through. Um, it's a really expensive fabric to buy, for me to buy. Um, so I, I, I price these things as low as I can for you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you're paying for the quality with these ones, I'm afraid. But it's just nice for that one-off um, quick thing to sew, especially as a one-piece because you've not got bottoms to make either. So I think it's worth the investment for those. Okay, so I promised you a fabric haul last time. So I'm not gonna go through them all because it's quite tedious for you. <laughs> I'm sure you don't wanna see everything. You're welcome to, but I'll show you the highlights because um, loads of stuff arrived while I was away. Um, I've also got a few restocks of fabric that have sold out before. So if you can see behind me, I've got all the modal um, jerseys back in which are beautiful. I think that's the last of the pink, um, but I've got a good amount of the other ones. Um, and I've got some new ones too. So let's go with this first. So this is a beautiful dove gray double gauze. And if you've not come across double gauze before, it feels, it's a 100% cotton fabric and it feels similar to a seersucker um, that kind of crinkly, crinkly cottony fabric up close and it's actually two layers of fabric bonded together. You can't quite see it there um, but it, it gives you a slightly, there you go, and that stays together. So it stops it from being sheer. So if you were sewing a blouse or a shirt or a nice top or even a, a wrap dress, I think you could get away with this. I think this is a really nice summer fabric um, to have in. Okay, next up, I should have shown you this before actually. Um, so like the peach schnapps viscose ponty that I showed you earlier that I was wearing, this is exactly the same fabric, but a different print. So this is a hummingbird and feathers um, Lady McElroy fabric, and it's stunning. I chose this because I always like these blue motifs where you can wear it with jeans or denim. Um, I think it works really well. And it, again, it'd look really nice with a pair of white skinny jeans or white skinny shorts as well for summer. And this is one of those fabrics that's just a, it's a bit of a wow print. So choose a really simple pattern, um, simple t-shirt or a, even a baseball tee style pattern and make it up in that and it will look beautiful quite quite quickly. You don't have to work too hard when you've got prints as good as this. So while we're on the jersey, I found this stunning. And this is also a Lady McElroy print and it's an interlock jersey. I'm trying not to drop it, it's quite heavy. Um, this is beautiful. So it would make a really lovely print t-shirt. So I made the simple um, white tee a couple of weeks ago with um, Tilling the Buttons' as, um, Frankie baseball tee pattern. This would look beautiful in that and that's really super quick to make. Um, and it's got that gorgeous cream background. It's a real vintagey feel, but it's got a kind of freshness about it as well. It's not too twee. Um, so I really love that. So I'll be making myself a couple of things in that. Next up, I've got a, a traditional Fisco's jersey. So a slinky, lightweight t-shirty jersey. And it's in this gorgeous gray marl with uh, little polka dots. And they're all different sizes. And um, what I've got in mind for this is an off the shoulder top. Because there are lots around at the moment. There's so many patterns around. And I think I'm gonna transform this into one of those. Also, it would work well as a, a cowl neck style top um, and it would also work well as a nice simple t-shirt or even like an Agnes top from Tilly and the Buttons. Any of those patterns would work really well. The simple patterns where you've got a few pattern pieces just to show off this lovely fabric 
and maybe it's more of an evening print this um, moving into autumn as well perhaps being grey but I really like this I thought it was a little bit different that was from um, Lady McElroy too as well the um, the spotty print one and the same I went a bit mad with the Lady McElroy this month so this is a similar um, fabric weight so it's a viscose jersey but a t-shirt weight not the ponty super drapey super super sleek I think and again this would be a lovely off shoulder top where you use the stripes in a downward direction and use the body in a horizontal um, if you were making a a flounce or something a frill to wear off the shoulder so I'm really pleased with that it's, it's such a good quality um, so I've got a little bit of this in stock for you as well this was my absolute favorite of everything I bought last week and um, this is also Lady McElroy and this is a rose print um, viscose jersey let me just check the composition yes so it's 97% viscose 3% spandex and it's a little bit more slinky drapey than your average viscose um, jersey kind of t-shirty weight and um, you could probably get away with making this into a wrap dress as well which would look stunning you might want to wear a slip under a fabric so slinky but that's up to you I would um, but I think it would be gorgeous if you went to a wedding in this you could have a really fast dress made just because the the print speaks for itself really so choose a really simple pattern again and it's just the perfect summer print isn't it I know not everybody's into florals so I've got a few other bits and bobs for you as well but I really like this one so up next if you don't like florals this is the uh, brush strokes fabric in a different colorway to the one I've had before so this is a cotton lawn I'm um, also Lady McElroy and it's got a lovely kind of navy blue background I think they call it dusk and um, the dusk blue background and it's so beautiful and uh, it's just the softest um, fabric ever cotton lawn if you haven't sewn with it before I really recommend it it would make a beautiful summer dress um, and yeah I just love these these always go really really fast I've got a little bit left of the other colorway um, the smoke brush strokes but not much that went really fast so yeah another favorite that's maybe not so floral still a little bit of a floral feel isn't it but it's more geometric I think than floral okay second to last um, I've been looking for some white denim forever so before I even started to think about selling fabric as a customer I couldn't find any that wasn't ridiculously expensive so I've been on the lookout for something that will um, be suitable for skinny trousers or skinny white jeans now I think I might have found it so this is a drill a cotton drill with a tiny bit of stretch so I think it's got about three percent um, content of spandex in there and it's not too see-through so the problem is with white cotton you do run the risk of showing your pants <laughs> so I think with nude underwear I think this would work really well so I've got a tried and true skinny trouser pattern um, I can't remember the name of the pattern number it's, it's one of the big four and I love it so I'm gonna have a bash at sewing that up for you I'll probably come back next time with that and just see how this performs but I really like it and I think it would stand up to a jeans pattern it is lightweight it's not heavy denim but I always think I'm a big white white denim white jeans fan and having bought a couple of pairs recently you don't want them too heavy because you're wearing them in summer and then I'm up here sweltering and um, you want something that's lightweight so it's personal preference but I'm gonna have a go at this and I might just make one of my make nine jeans pattern in white instead of the dark denim that I had planned so we'll see how that goes but it's definitely good for skinny trousers or even a, a fitted dress or a fitted pencil skirt really versatile fabric and good quality as well this is from um, Lady McElroy classic collection so you know you've got the quality behind it as well so it's gonna wash nicely and it's gonna last so yeah I'm really quite pleased with this excited to try that for next time also on the trouser front I've got, oh, it'll make anything from this actually, I've got some beautiful blush pink triple crepe 
and I just love this. So this is a gorgeous weight. So you could make um, trousers from this. I'm going to make some culottes from this um, for summer. It's a much more thicker than a, your average crepe if you've not come across triple crepe before. So, but it's not too hot and it's not too, um, it, it's got a, a gorgeous drape still. Um, it, it moves nicely. And you could do anything with this. You could make a, a waterfall coat, you could make lots or some beautiful palazzo pant trousers. They would look lovely. Or even a dress or a wrap dress. Um, a wrap dress would look gorgeous in this actually. I keep thinking about weddings. I never get invited to any wedding. I don't think anyone I know gets married these days. So, um, but yeah, if you were invited to a wedding, this would be a really lovely color to wear. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. I might try and get a few of the other colors in for you as well, but I started with this one just because I'm liking pink at the moment. Well, that's it uh, from me for this week. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm melting. I'm absolutely roasting up here. So I'm gonna leave it there for now um, before, I, before I fry. So next time I'm gonna sew up that white cotton drill into some trousers and see how that goes. I'm going to use my favourite interfacing with the band for that as well um, because I think that will blend in nicely and not show up too much with it being white and I'll come back and I'll let you know how that goes. And that's it from me so thank you so much for all your comments and for keep following I really appreciate it. I will try not leave it so long next time um, before I come back. Um, hopefully I'll be back next week for you. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll do a closer look at a specific fabric next time because we've gone through a fair amount of fabric types this week. So I didn't really feel the need to add one on today, but I will focus in on um, a fabric next time for you. If you've got any requests as to which you'd like to see more about or which fabrics you're particularly struggling to buy online, um, then just say below uh, in the comments and I can help with that and show you the different types of weights of fabric as well if that will help. Okay thanks again and give me a like if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye for now.